to be persistent about what it is that you want to achieve. Alexander Graham Bell said, what this power is, I cannot say. All I know is that it exists and it becomes available only when a man or a woman is in that state of mind in which he or she knows exactly what he or she wants and is fully determined not to quit until they fight. Don't get caught up in, well, I tried it four or five times and things didn't work out. If there's something that you want and you're hungry for it, you've got to do whatever is necessary until. And when you give the best you can and that's not enough, you must do what is required. And don't give up on yourself. Don't throw the towel in so quickly. Many people give up on the one yard line. So whatever is required, just go out there. I get emails on Facebook from friends I went to high school with, often starting with, Gary, you're so lucky. I reply to every single one of them, all of them. I am super not lucky. Let me remind you, Rick, remember when we graduated college and you went to the Jersey Shore every weekend and hooked up with chicks and drank beer? I worked. It's hard living. Life is hard. It's hard when you are married and raising children and your children are crawling and your husband dies. Unexpected. It's hard handling just the tragedies of life. It's hard when you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it and it doesn't work. Out, you lose your mind. Take the step. Step aggressively toward your fear. And that, that step towards your fear is the step into bravery. Because we, we're, we're scared of what we don't know. There is only one way to learn and to know, and that is to confront that fear. You have to step, you have to go. And this simple action, this simple attitude, it answers so many questions. How do you overcome fear of failure or fear of success or, or fear of fear itself? You step. And how do you face the fear of the unknown? You step. Don't wait anymore. Don't think anymore. Don't plan anymore. Don't contemplate anymore. Don't make any more excuses or justifications. Instead, be aggressive. Take action now and what is the first action that you need to take the first step you need to take is just that step you didn't fight you didn't do what you were supposed to do what happened don't give up on yourself so easily you don't realize what consequences will be what would happen if you didn't do your part? If you didn't become successful, who would you be letting down? This is not just about you. Yes, it's your life. Yes, you're in charge. Yes, you can determine your destiny. Now act like it. But if you give up on yourself, you're not just letting yourself down. Whose life can you impact? What change can you make in other people's lives, not just your own? 
Because you see, when you change yourself, you not only change yourself, you impact everybody that is around you. And you know what gets me? Sometimes I swear to you, I work with people every day helping them live their dreams. Sometimes I want them to be successful more than they want themselves to be successful. I care about you. Me and you, we probably never met. But I want you to be successful at whatever it is that you do. And it might be right now that I want it for you more than you want it for yourself. And we have got to change that. Where is the drive? Where is your hunger? Have you gotten full from a comfortable and mediocre life? Everyone has that drive inside of them, but it might be buried down deep under all of the pressure, all of the fear that you've built up, thinking, what if I fail? Well, what if you succeed? There is another level of life waiting for you on the other side of your fears, on the other side of your doubts. There is greatness. Now what reason can you reach on to push on through all of the challenges, all of the defeats, all of the so-called failures that you're going to have to go through to get what you want? I want you to grab hold of that why and run with it. Because if it is worth having, then it won't come easy. And if it comes easy, it won't last long. And when you work on it day and night, when you bring in your heart, when you invest all of you into what you're doing, what will you get in return? What if you went all in this time? Don't you understand? It's the same amount of energy required to think a small thought as is required to think a giant, a massive, a colossal thought. Are you hearing me? The only reason you are still remaining small is because you're keeping yourself there by thinking too small. So, then you're going to commit yourself to a higher level of performance. If you're tired of being average, if you decided that you were sick of your sickness and you will no longer remain where you are, but that you are going to grab hold of every last drop of energy that is within you and you apply all of yourself into getting what you want.